Okay, soldier, for today's boot camp lesson, you are going to learn how to make your bed the right way. So, first of all, I want you to show me how you would make your bed. Better. What's next? Tuck it all down, make sure there's not a mark anywhere. Over the top of that, that wrinkle. You done? No wrinkles anywhere? Well done, soldier. Good job. Good morning, East Point kids. As you have seen, after nine and a half years, we are still trying to teach Caleb how to make his bed and how to make it properly. And I think sometimes that he's just tricking me and he actually does know how to make it. He just can't be bothered. And how many of you um, enjoy building out of Lego? How many of you have had a huge big Lego um, play set? And how long does it take you to get all the pieces out of the box and put it all together to make this world or this play set that you have got? I know that I've seen myself that um, Bruce absolutely loves Lego and a few weeks ago he made his entire class out of Lego and it looked incredible and I don't know how long that took him but I'm guessing it might have taken him a little while. But do you know that God made our entire world, he made the whole thing in just one week? I mean one week to make the whole world, how incredible is that? And that story is found in Genesis where God made the world. It says in the beginning there was nothing there, just darkness, only darkness and God. And God said, let there be light and there was light and the light was good. And that was the first day done. On the days after that, God made the rest of the things and he made the land and the sea and the sky. He made the sun, the moon and the stars and every plant that grows, every fish that swims, every bird that flies through the sky, God made them all. He made them all with their amazing patterns and all their different sounds and um, their different calls and everything he made he created it all in just one week and at, <clears throat> on the sixth day almost at the end of the week he made people and he made the people so that they could look after and take care of this world that he had created and then the seventh day the last day of the week was really important god made that day for rest so that he could take a rest after all the hard work that he had done and he gives us that day as well for us to rest. That's why on Sundays we don't go to school and we maybe, you know, different families maybe do different things. I know whenever I was growing up um, on a Sunday we weren't allowed to go to the shop. And even then the generation before that when my mum was growing up she wasn't allowed to watch TV on a Sunday because a Sunday was a day that you rested and you um, relaxed after having a busy week. And that is really important for us in this time um, of coronavirus um, we can't go out and do the things we normally do and we can't go to school and see our friends and sometimes you think but my whole life is a rest my whole life is not doing the things I want to do but it's nice sometimes just to take a wee break when everything gets a wee bit much and we're stressed and we're worried and we don't know how we're going to get through another week of homeschooling and but it's important that we take our rest and we can talk to God and give him all of our worries but really what we're looking at today is how amazing God is. We are looking at in one week he has created our whole earth and our whole world. And I mean, how special is that, that he has made all of that for us? So um, soldiers, I want you to think every day this week as you make your bed, I want you to remember that making your bed, while that might be something pretty basic, you can remember as you make your bed that God made our world and he made it for us because he loves us. 
Bye.